Go on. Hello out there. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's going on with you, brothers and sisters in Islam? Um, today, I'm about to be telling you the story of um, how we became Muslim. Um, it's been about eight years since I've been a Muslim, going on eight years. And um, I remember um, back in the days, I used to go ahead and work at FedEx. And um, I met a lady, um, <laughs> actually, I met a lady online, actually. And um, I went ahead and took a two-week vacation um, during the holidays. So I went ahead and... Um, moved out to Cincinnati, Ohio, and to start a new life. And then um, I sold my car. Um, I went ahead and um, gave my place up and I let my auntie take over. And I was looking for work um, over there in Cincinnati, sold my car, everything. And um, I was looking for a job. And then um, every once in a while, I take a break and I go ahead and do a um, history study on um, African studies, you know, black studies and stuff. And I started off um, studying about blacks in China. And it's like um, I started studying about the, um, the Moors in Spain. Um, I started studying about um, the Moors in um, various places around the world that there was um, also a black pope. I started learning that um, people of color and black people um, played a lot of pivotal world, uh, roles in history. And it's just my perspective, like, you know, living in America, being a black African American, just what information that's available for the average African American versus one who go to school or um, get with someone who's learned, you know, as far as we are the average understanding is we live in, we originated from grass huts and we swing it from trees and we, um, you know, we living in wigwams and stuff, you know what I mean? But no, there's black folks that live in castles, you know, there's um, um, black folks that went ahead and studied science and astrologies and inventors, you know, and played um, world leaders and played um, very pivotal world, uh, roles around the world. So I just didn't know that black folks was capable of so much, you know what I mean? And then at different times um, in the past that we was already an accepted people versus we're trying to be accepted. We're already accepted, you know what I mean? And highly respected, you know? And then the thing is, is um, I knew about Moors, you know what I mean? Now. I started um, learning about the Moors in America, and I started finding out that there are Muslims. You know what I mean? I knew about Muslims in general and the study of them. I knew nothing about the religion. Um, I, for, I was dabbling a little bit of um, Moorish science, not, not nation Islam, but I was looking in the, um, the Moorish science and the, um, the history of uh, black Muslims in America. And then what impressed me about the Muslim in America is how by their character, they can go ahead and um, be bought out of slavery. There's a um, story of a, um, a brother from the Gambian coast, um, Diallo bin Solomon. And um, he, um, he was a Muslim from the Gambian coast, and he was en enslaved, brought to America. And um, he used to go ahead and um, sneak off in the woods to make his salat, you know. And uh, um, the kid, there's this kid that was throwing rocks and harassing him when he's making his salat. And so he ran away from a slave master to catch him. And then he, all he spoke was Arabic, you know what I mean? So they didn't understand him. So he tried to write a letter. He tried to send it home, and he's writing a letter back to his father. His father must have been someone important um, overseas. So the, um, the thing is, they translated the letter. And then the thing is, they found out the reason why he wanted to leave, you know, so, just so he could make it a lot. But the important thing is when they were reading that letter, they didn't send it. But they's impressed how he articulated his words. They's impressed by his intelligence. You know what I mean? By that, they went ahead. And they didn't release him, you know. But they found out the reason, and then they, you know, and then the work was too much for him to do. So not only they went ahead and lightened the workload for him because it's too much for him. They found out the reason he left is because he wanted to make salat. You know, so they went ahead and allowed him to go ahead and make a salat inside the house. You know, so this is strange to me, you know, it's like, from our perspective, you know, a lot of the slaves you think was ill-treated during that time. But the thing is, is uh, um, there's, cert there's certain individuals, you know what I mean, that impress certain people when they were given special treatment. Um, also, there's um, brothers who's smart enough to know 
um, that to get use their Moorish heritage to go ahead and take it to court and fight it and appeal their slavery. And yeah, there's, there's another story, various stories of, of a brother that go up and go, go to court to appeal the slavery and not only free himself, free his wife, but also a large number of his children. You know, not all of them, but there's black black men that's smart enough to know these things. You know what I mean? So I knew nothing about the religion, but I was impressed by the Muslim and their accomplishments and also by character. I didn't know nothing about the religion. I went ahead and went to a 24 hour fitness and I ran into a friend from high school. His, um, his name's um, Samim Faisal, Afghani brother. And um, I was telling him all this black power stuff and you know not all this stuff from that I was learning. He said, I know brother, I know. You ain't got, you don't have time for that. You have to worry about your soul. And then it's like, uh, um, you read Quran, you read Quran. It's like, no, pick up a Quran, you know. If you have any questions, you know, let me know. And then he asked, before he told me that he, I had basic questions, you know, what do you guys have to say about Noah? What about Abraham? What about, you know, what about Jesus, you know? And then he gave me um, basics on um, the basic belief structure of these prophets, you know what I mean? And like, what about um, our salvation and our uh, repentance? Oh yeah, you you um you repent for the sins. You know you do a good deed. You know you pray, and uh, um the, the stories and um, Jesus was still in the equation. So the religion didn't seem so scary to me. It seemed pretty straightforward, just like um, Christianity, what I'm familiar with. It didn't seem too strange anymore. He said, pick up a Quran. If you have any question, let me know. So, so when I was reading the Quran, I was like uh, when I was reading the book in nature. It, Felt like the book was talking to me, you know what I mean? The, the way that it questions the reader, you know, and it challenges you, you know what I mean? If you don't believe this, you know, to go ahead and bring more people, um, you go, come with a, a surah likeness, like, like, like what we brought, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So the, the, um, the Quran challenges the, um, the reader, and then also the scientific evidence as well. I ended up getting a, um, another small pamphlet on a um, brief illustration of Islam. And then it, it brought out the actual um, uh, miracles of Islam and scientific miracles of Islam that I was unaware of, you know what I mean? Other than just, that's the main focus as, as a Christian, what I'm familiar with is just the story of the prophets, you know what I mean? But it's the, the, the Quran is beyond that, you know what I mean? There's scientific evidences. And I was thinking science is just something that you go ahead and learn at school. But it, um, Almighty Allah went ahead and made us aware of these things and how these things work. And that's what led scientists to go ahead and unravel these mysteries so we better understand it today. You know, so it's like, man, it's, it's a lot more. It's not only this book is talking to me. Um, the stories are similar from what I learned when I was a Christian. And then it's, um, it's telling us how the clouds are, are forming, um, the layers that's within the ocean, it's, um, how the um, baby is formed in the mother's womb. And a lot of these mysteries that people delved into and they unraveled the answer for us to better understand. And what pointed these people in th that direction was Islam. And a lot of things that we practice nowadays is from Islam. Even how the doctor go ahead and um, prepare for surgery when they do his wash is similar to Uru. You know, so even the um, modern day medicine that we practice today, they learned from um, from Muslim or um, from or through the Arabic text. You know what I mean? And a lot of the, um, the the knowledge was combined between the nations of Muslims. They um, compiled their information together and they made it available for for the people. So anyone who was a doctor in the past thousand years ago, they they um, they may have to go to Spain to go ahead and learn these things. You know, if you al alchemy, um, uh, surgeries, um, learn medicine, you know, they, they have to learn through um, Arabic books. You know what I mean? If people was aware of these things, you know, the contributions that the Muslims gave to the world, you know, it may ease, it may ease some um, attitude. You know what I mean? And then a lot of things that we do in practice nowadays, even the camera, even the camera that we use was developed by a Muslim. So, you know, Islam... Um, influenced a lot of things you know that we use nowadays that we that we take for granted you know so it's just i, I was impressed by the muslim I actually um had a question <laughs> because I, was, I started finding out a lot, a lot of these things you know at different times and he like hey i'm you want to become muslim i called him i had a question and it's like uh yeah why right, brother let's just take a shower i'll pick you up in a couple minutes so, so i took a shower i took a shower he picked me up 
I went to Mass City Noor, uh, Florence 65th, um, Sacramento, California. And uh, I took um, Shahada with Sheikh Mahmoud. Alhamdulillah, uh, Rabbil yeah. Alameen. A day after Christmas. You know, and my, um, my first Arabic I learned was La ilaha illallah. And a lot of um, Arabic that I learned stemmed from La ilaha illallah. When I first um, learned Fatiha, I self taught by ear, trying to go over the prayer. After I took Shahada, I like, I need to learn how to pray. So I said, learn by ear. And just from La ilaha illallah by itself, just similar pronunciation of the Arabic. Once you learn um, uh, Fatiha, you learn words from there. You learn uh, um, from Suri Kalas, a similar word, then it branches on and on. So when I encounter a new word, it don't seem too foreign to me. You know, so, and then it's funny because then later on I read in the uh, Quran at the, uh, near the end of Surah Dukhan, the smoke, and it says that we made this Quran easy on the tongue. Alhamdulillah. Huh? You know what I mean? So it's, it's, this book is so amazing to me. You know what I'm saying? Alhamdulillah. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful way of life. It's, it's, um, it's too vast for me to go ahead and put in one, in one um, 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 interview. But, the, um, but I felt the change, you know, also when I was reading the book. I felt a change with, in, inside of me. I didn't feel the same anymore. I felt like um, just different. You know what I mean? Just different. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But... I, you know, but, and it didn't seem so scary from what it was before, you know, I'm pretty straightforward, you know, but it's a beautiful way of life, and then I'm still discovering things um, nowadays, and it's, it's a beautiful way of life, you know, alhamdulillah, you know? alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, it answered uh, uh, my questions, what happens when we die, thoroughly, you know, what happens step by step when we're being judged, what heaven and hell is like, um, thoroughly, what we're going through during the end of time, most of the um, hard and hard hard questions I have is answered in Islam, and a lot of people who I consider to be like um, elders in my family, who are Christians, they can't answer Couldn't these answer questions. It. Same thing with me. You know, same thing. <laughs> they, be, they be holding hands. Just right? have faith. They, we be holding <laughs> hands. So all of us, we were we were praying family, and in the family I came from, there's, I mean, my grandfather helped build the church. Imagine if you built a match, dude. You know, my grand, my so grandma. So much edger. Yeah, my grandma Ali. She she always mentioned verses from the Bible. Oh, I guess you know, I take the random verse all day. <laughs> so he's singing, humming the hymns to herself. Imagine if she, if if I'm if she was a Muslim, how much Quran she recited a day. Man, mm -hmm. you know, and you know, just the way that they were. You know right. what I'm saying? May Allah guide and, him to the day. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but it's yeah. a, but but still, there, there, there no people come and go. But I tested it. I asked people. You know what I mean? That you know was close to them. You know, people lead the prayer. People that you call for advice, and they can't answer these questions. Yeah. But Islam can't. I don't consider myself a scholar, and I I have a um a a, a strong grip. I can give you pretty detail. And I'm not even a scholar, you know, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. And becoming a Muslim helped me better understand Christianity. Man, you, you too, bro. <laughs> I, mean, I think that happened for brother. everybody. And then, and then it, 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 being a Muslim will better teach you how to even be an appropriate Christian, how to practice it appropriately, you know. So, and even if I was going to try to practice, try to prove this game wrong, the more I try to prove it wrong, the more right it is. Alhamdulillah. SubhanAllah, you know what I'm saying? So you know, it's 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 a it's a beautiful way of life. It's it's different when you know that you're actually worshiping the real God. You actually feel and you see the miracles happening in front of your eyes. When you make dua, you see the effect of it. You know what I mean? And then you definitely see the the effect of it when you are practicing your deen strong. You feel it. You feel it, and you see it. You know what I'm saying? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You know what I'm saying? It's not like control the world, but you you can really tell when Allah shows his favor on his servant, those yeah. his righteous servant, those who choose choose to practice the deen and follow his guidance through the Quran. And um and the example that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam left for all of us. You know, we will see these benefits, we'll feel the benefit, you will feel the power of Allah. The, the um, power lies in your sujood, in your submission to Allah. 
not by our nafs and our desires and our wills, but what Allah from His from His risk, you know, from the um, from the um, from the blessings, the abundant blessings, the from His fadl. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You think you could hit us with a little kira one time with a small surah or something, inshallah? Oh, alhamdulillah. All right. Yes, brother. Inshallah to Allah. Barakallahu feek. A'udhu billahi minash shaytani rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa la hayyu la kayyum La ta'quduhu sinatu wa la nawm Lahum ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard Man dhaladhi ashfa'u winduhu ila bi-idhmi Ya'lamun ma bayna aydihim wa ma kalafahum Wa la yakhituna bi shayin min ilmihi ila bima sha Wa siyah كُسِيُّهُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَلَا يَأُوذُهُ هِفْسُهُمَا وَهُوَ الْعَلِيُّ الْعَظِيمُ جَزَاكَ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا بَارَكَ اللَّهُ فِيكَ مَا اللَّهُ بَلَّسَ يُو وَكِيْبَ يُو إِنْ فَوْرَ إِسْلَامِ فَأَيْفَرَ وَلَتْ يُو دَائِعَ أَزْمَ أَحَيْسَ مُزْلِمَ أَخِيْ سَلَامٌ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ ثَانْكِيُ فِي شَيْنِ يَسْتُورِيَ